Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Society from Sam back with another video, guys. Basically, in today's video, y'all, as y'all can see from the title and the thumbnail of this video, today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys the best moves. I think which is the best movements in rivals. Not really the best, but this is what my opinion. Um, if you're especially if you're a beginner, you know what I'm saying. If you guys are all new here, please make sure you guys all hit that subscribe button for me. Join the description via link in the description. Also, make sure to all follow up my socials down below, bro. We trying to reach 2,000k subs, so y'all please hit that subscribe button for me. And yeah, I mean, let's just jump right to the video. Alright, y'all. So, ladies and gentlemen, bro, the first thing you want to do is your movements, bro. Once once you play this game, you guys all need to have your own movements you feel me because bro if you if you play this game and you become an npc and you just move like this and shoot around then bro i think you should be dead you feel what i'm saying not like that but yeah you'll be dead bro you know what i'm saying so let's fix that by trying to make movements you know uh just move around i guess you get you can go left and right so what you want to do is just want to add up the slides which is c on your keyboard or control so um, you can just slide up like this C once, you know, if, you know what I'm saying, you go to the left, you press C, but you gotta add up, which is like slide cancelling is like, if you're, if you're a card player, then you guys are all familiar with this, you know what I'm saying, but yeah, you gotta press C and then space, you feel me, so basically you gotta jump around like this, bro, alright, so, so, um, let's say for example, uh, can you stand right here, stand right here real quick, alright, let's say for example, he's right here, um I, I come up right here and i see him so i can like go right here shoot him boom i go back right here shoot him again and if i'm if you're if you're um what is it called and if you're like i said guys um so you want to move right left or right and you want to confuse the player because um if you just move left or right they can if if you're a pro like let's say this guy right here my homie i think i think he's gonna predict where you're going you feel me so if you just if you just go left or right then they can definitely predict you but it's much more better than just standing still and just shooting around you feel me so uh, you gotta like try to trick the person uh let's say for example let's let's run a real 1v1 real quick rival player oh yeah rival player knows what he's doing all right see y'all um something like that you feel me uh you just gotta move around and just don't don't like stay still so the next thing is you want to do is aim you feel me um we i know that you aim and stuff like that but what i notice is that when whenever you see the enemy right in front of you just keep your cursor right on him and if you can just point at his head like if you're aiming if you're aiming just make sure you just aim at his head or his body but if you want much more effect uh much more damage then you just aim at his head you know um so uh, let's say for example i'm moving around and i see him you wanna like shoot let's just like shoot him you know like until he in, uh, even like until you reload don't reload too quickly you know what i'm saying um just trace at him just don't leave him alone you feel me don't switch to your next gun or whatever doing uh just just keep or your eyes on him you know just keep your eyes on his on him like just keep your eyes on him whatever you're going just Make sure you guys shoot him. Like, even if you're flying around like this, make sure you guys aim at him, you know? Because it does affect him. Like, the point of this is to hit him and actually make some damage uh, to make you easier, easier, easier to eliminate him, you feel me? Yeah, so one thing, the first thing is movements. The second thing is your aim. Uh, and if you don't know how to aim on this game, then you can try, I guess, by training or keep just keep on playing or you can play aim labs or whatever it is, you know? It depends you you gotta be like uh what is it called you gotta be strategic if, you, if that makes sense um so sometimes if the enemy knows where you're going like for example when you start the game some people i do this all the time so i just throw myself grenade and i jump right here and i just jumped him you know what i'm saying some people don't know that some people like don't expect that some people do, do expect that so if they expect that then you gotta change your gameplay you know you gotta change your gameplay the way you play and stuff like that and yeah that's pretty much it bro y'all it's that pretty much it guys if you guys find this video helpful please let me know bro down below i'm not really a rivals player as y'all can see i'm level 28 compared to other people but that's where i think um i personally think that playing this game recommends kind of of a skill but it's not bro i think you can play whatever 
even if you're level one you can play this game bro. i was actually cooking when i was level one and yeah it all recommends is just um movements aim and just you know what i'm saying yeah just don't just follow what i said and you'll see some improvements you guys are all new here make sure you guys all hit that subscribe button for me join the discord server links in the description chat but which are always 2k subs so please make sure you guys all hit that subscribe button for me and it's been your boy society and i'm out peace